It is no longer a conspiracy theory that one of the oldest Quran was found in England Library, which suggests that the leading thinkers of England might have had access to it. Thus, it would not be against the odd to suggest that the idea of man evolving from apes comes from the Quran. In the Quran, it was stated that God creates and repeats. And in another verse, it says, God turned some humans into apes. Charles Darwin might have combined these two statements to literally means that those humans evolved from apes and the process repeated itself, whereby those humans returned back to apes. Dalton might have conceptualized his ideas based on the following Quranic verses, 85 verse 13, 30 verse 27, to verse 65, 7266, and in chapter 24 verse 45, God said, He created every living creature from water dot, and in 84 verse 19, God said, You will mount stage by stage. Thus, the inspiration might have jumped to him. That if we humans mount from a stage before we got here, then what we mount or evolved from must have evolved from another in a regressive evolutionary sequence. What I think the scientists always do is to use ambiguous word or coin a word, but its interpretation will still be the same as stated or mentioned in the Quran. For instance, the phrase mount stage by stage was replaced with evolve. So, all he needed was to study other creatures and look for evidence to support this notion by cascading in reverse evolutionary timeline. Quran 29 verse 20, God said, travel the earth and observe how he originated the creation. Do you think it was a coincidence that Charles Darwin traveled to Galapagos Islands and other regions? to collect data in support of this scientific observations in the Quran, and in 1859 he published On the Origin of Species, where he presents his supporting evidence that humans did mount stage by stage. Do you know that one of the oldest surviving copies of the Quran was found in the University of Birmingham Research Library, United Kingdom? The manuscript was radiocarbon, to be at least 1,370 years old. It is more than a mere coincidence that most of the scientists that played pivotal roles in advancing various fields in scientific revolution and enlightenment in the 16th to 19th centuries are mostly English people or Catholics, just to name a few such as Isaac Newton, Robert Boyle, John Dalton. Charles Darwin, Michael Faraday, James Jewell, J.J. Thompson, and Stephen Hawking. However, what Charles Darwin did not consider is that having similarities does not rule out the Creator. In a similar way, that battery mounts stage by stage or evolved, yet does not rule out their inventors. Evolving from Daniel cell to Leclonky cell, to lead acid accumulator cell, to lithium battery, and then solar battery,